Hello everyone and welcome to geekyanimator.com and in this video we're going to learn about switch layers how we use it and why we use it so on the left hand side go to the layers panel and let me show you what I have here I have a body layer this one and I have three other layers for the three heads that you can see uh, they are named as left head, right head and front head uh, I mean you can understand by the name what they are meant for the left head is for the one facing towards the left hand side the right head is for the one towards the right hand side and the front one is for the front so uh, what I want to do over here is I want to make a three, uh, 3 second animation in which for the first second the guy will be looking at the front side for the next second he'll be looking at the left hand side and for the third and the last second he'll be facing towards the uh, right hand side so how am I going to do that I mean while the motion is going on while we are animating how can I switch the front head with the left head or with the right head whichever direction I want the guy to look at so how are we going to do that well switch layer is the answer so let me start off and click on the new layer and select the switch layer this creates the switch layer just name it as um, head because we are switching the heads so press enter now what I want to do, I want to select these three heads and I want to drag them inside the switch layer so just click and drag it and as you drag you can see that the switch layer turns uh, a transparent red color with a horizontal red uh, bar beneath it Now, as you see that just uh, remove the mouse button and you can see those three layers are inside the switch layer uh, you can confirm it by you know clicking on this rectangle you can see that these the switch layer consists of the three layers now as you see that as we drag the three layers you can see that the other two faces are gone and you can see only one face that's the front face now what actually has happened that the switch layer has one speciality that whatever layers it may have beneath it uh, it can only show one layer at one time that is only one layer is active at one time so in this case we have the front head active at the current time and the other two layers are inactive and you can see that by um, seeing the color of these two layers simply turned gray and the front head seems to be the normal and well this way you can see that which layer is active and which layers are inactive so what I am going to do over here is click on the 24th frame that is the one second and at this time I want this uh, the front head to get switched with the left one so click on the 24th frame go back to the layers panel and click on the uh, right click on the switch layer and when you right click you have three options the left right and the front one these options are the same as the layers that you have beneath the uh, beneath the switch layer so I'm gonna select the left head because I want the guy to look at the left hand side so click on it and now you can see that the front head and the right head are deactivated and only the left head is active that means you can only see the left head well you can see the left head but still it's not at the right position where you want it to be so uh, if you make I can you know um, I can drag the head and shift it to the position where I want it to be but if I do that I am actually animating it that is I am shifting the position of the head from the old position to the new position when I, as I'm moving from the 0 to 1 second so I don't want to do that I'm going to press ctrl plus Z to undo it and, and I'm going to go back to the 0th frame and select the left head layer and now you can drag it to the position where you want now to drag the layer you need to select the move tool the translate tool layer and just click and drag it to the position where you want it to be alright similarly do the same for the right head we can do it beforehand and I'm gonna bring it back to the position where I want it to be now select the switch layer and you can see that you already have a keyframe and when you click on the 24th frame you can see that your head is at the right position so um, that's what the switch layer does you can see that you can see a keyframe set for the switch layer which shows that some switching between the layers is occurring at this frame and as you uh, you can click and drag in the timeline to see what happens as you move on the switch layer your head your front head gets switched with the left head that means switch layer can switch between the layers and well that's what the name says switch so switch the layers 
and now I'm gonna go to the sec 48th frame the second second and I'm gonna right click on the switch layer and this time I'm gonna select the right head well I hope you will you must be understanding what I'm doing right now I'm gonna switching uh, I'm switching for the right head and another keyframe has been made for the right head now as you can drag it around you can see how our task has been achieved for the first second we have the guy looking in the fur in the front direction after the 24th frame till the 48th frame the guy is looking at the left hand direction and after the 48th frame the guy is looking in the right direction so that's what the switch layer does I hope you understand um, understood what a switch layer is for and you can use it for multi purpose you know uh, I mean uh, if you want a person's hand with open fist you can switch it with the uh, closed fist if you want and switch layer is quite handy so uh, I'm gonna export it right click on the so that's what the switch layer does and uh, I hope you understood what switch layer is for so uh, we can export it click on the file file menu and uh, click on the export animation from here select the default settings and oh, uh, change the end frame to uh, let me just drag it around so that I can see where I want it I want the animation to go to 3 seconds that is 70, 72 frame so type in 72 click OK and save I'll choose the full frames click OK and now you can have the animation exported 